Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm a brand evangelist and customer advocate here at Helium 10. Today, I'm going to talk with you about one of our newest features for Walmart, and that is Keyword Tracker. Keyword Tracker for Walmart is very similar to our Amazon version, but there are a few differences, so I'll show you those. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. So this is actually Keyword Tracker. The first thing you wanna do when you get into Keyword Tracker is you want to go ahead and choose the market. So I chose Walmart already. Make sure that you do this. It's usually defaulted on Amazon, so you're gonna to wanna to choose the drop down and choose Walmart. And then I have actually a product that I've already started tracking and I'll show you that in a second, but I wanna show you how to add a new product. So adding a new product is very easy. All you have to do is click on add a new product and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna find the Walmart URL or product ID. So I'm gonna use the product ID and that is actually on this Walmart listing right here. It's in the URL right here. Or you can pull the extension or the x-ray extension and you can copy the product ID from that as well. So I'm just gonna copy that and then I'm gonna put it in this section right here. And then this is where you're gonna enter in the keywords that you want to track. So egg tray, egg holder, egg container. I'm just going to start with those. You can always go back and add more keywords later if you'd like. And this is walmart.com marketplace. So everything down here is all good. I'm going to hit start tracking. Okay. So then it says product added and you can just click okay. So you're not going to see something right away. You are going to need to wait a few hours. Sometimes it could take up to 12 hours um, to populate the actual information. So uh, just be patient with that. And you're going to want to put all the keywords in, you know, as much as you know from the beginning so that you can get those keywords tracked and get the history going. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you our 12 egg storage tray because we already have the organic rank for that. So the keyword is right here. You can add any notes that you want to right here. It shows the competing number of products. And then also right here is your organic rank and sponsored rank. It doesn't show anything for us because we're actually not advertising right now. So we don't have any of that, but it shows you the time position as of this time. Okay. So you can also sort your organic rank so you can see, you know, your highest up at top and then you can track all these. Now you have 250 total keywords that you can track and that's because Walmart, you're usually going to focus on a smaller number of keywords than Amazon. So you don't need as many as as Amazon, maybe even just 20 per listing because you want to focus on those more general keywords. So I don't have that many in here for the 12 egg storage. Something else that you can do is you can actually do boosts just like on the Amazon version. So you have 25 boosts and this basically means that you can check your rank every hour for 10 days. So if you are implementing, implementing strategies to get yourself ranked and you're doing a bunch of stuff and you want to see what it looks like every hour, you can go ahead and do a boost and that'll help you to do that. So that's basically it. Um, other than you can export, um, your results here. You can also edit here by adding keywords. You can, you know, mark things as more important. You can copy keywords to a clipboard. So anything else you want to do is right here. And again, if you needed to add more or delete keywords, you could do that. You can add them here or you can go if you wanted to delete. Um, you can also hit this delete button right here. So that's not a big deal at all. And um, this is going to help quite a bit because sometimes it's uh, difficult to track your rank on Walmart and just figure out where you're at. But um, another thing is that if you are using if you're running sponsored ads, you're not going to see necessarily your organic rank because usually what happens is you're going to either on Walmart, if you're doing a sponsored ad, you'll only show up for the sponsored ad and not organically. So that can be confusing sometimes. So um, it'll basically maybe show your organic rank as of the last time it was checked. But um, it so sometimes it won't move up or down. And, you know, when you're doing pay per click advertising, you do like to see your organic rank go up. So if you notice that you'll have to turn off your ads in order to see what your organic rank is. So keep that in mind. That is a little bit of a trickier part to this. So that is all we have for keyword tracker for Walmart today. I hope that you love it and you start using it right away. It's definitely a very helpful tool. Thank you. Mm -hmm.